Claffey's Victron Energy Solar Boat. Let's talk about the Claffey's Victron Energy Solar Boat, a project by a Dutch team that's making waves in water transport with solar technology. This team, known for their excellence in solar boat racing, has created the Furia 3 Mark III. While it may not be the most beautiful boat out there, it can reach speeds of up to 52 Kiantage. One of the reasons for its success is its batteries from MG Electronics. These batteries not only advance solar technology, but also improve their battery systems by applying solutions discovered during boat development. So when it comes to water transport, this solar powered boat is making quite the splash. Caterham 7 170. VT Holdings, the owner of the British company Caterham, has influenced the design of the Caterham 7 170. This roadster resembles the popular Japanese K cars, but Caterham's engineers have taken it a step further. Weighing 440 kg and powered by a turbocharged 84 horsepower engine, this car can accelerate from 0 to 100 km h in about 7 seconds. The Roadster has received a rating of 8 out of 10 on the Top Gear website and is priced at $37,500. Squad Mobility in 2022, the Netherlands got 14% of its energy from solar power and they plan to close all coal-fired power plants by 2030. Local companies are joining the move towards green energy. One company has introduced the Quad Solar City Car, which is a compact solar-powered vehicle for city driving that costs only $6,800. It can travel up to 100 km and reach speeds of up to 45 km h. The car's solar panels can add an extra 22 km to its range every day. Plus, in many places in Europe, you only need a moped license to drive it. Esquil One, a new company from Paris, is introducing the world's first electric skis. They're entering the market as a fun alternative to electric unicycles and scooters. With a 600 watt motor in each ski, you can zoom around at speeds up to 80 km per hour. Just remember, they only go for 30 km on a single charge, but they're really convenient to carry around because they're lightweight at just 12.5 kilograms and you can roll them along like wheeled suitcases. If you want to buy a pair, they cost $1,150. Production starts in April and you can look forward to getting your skis by June this year. Doroni Aerospace, a company in the United States, has shared exciting news about their Doroni H1 flying car. The US Federal Aviation Administration has approved it, which means it's now officially allowed to be used in the country. They already have plenty of pre-orders and the only thing left is to start making them next year. The H1 has some great features. It can go as fast as 225 kilometers per hour. It's powered by electricity and can travel 100 kilometers on a single charge. It can carry up to 227 kilograms and is 4.5 meters wide, so it might fit in a large garage. Have you ever heard of Polaris Industries? It's an American company known for making snowmobiles, motorcycles, and all-terrain vehicles. They're so good that even the Pentagon buys from them. But it's not just big organizations, regular people can buy their stuff too. Let's talk about two of their snowmobile models, the Indy VR1 and the Switchback Assault. The Indy VR1 is the first version and it has a 650cc engine. What's cool about it is that it's made using something called the Matrix platform, which helps make it strong but lightweight. They've also used carbon and aluminum to keep it light, weighing just 227 kilograms. Then there's the Switchback Assault, which is like a crossover model. It also comes with a 650cc engine. In Japan, there's a company called Armour that has made the world's lightest and most compact electric scooter. It's super light, weighing only four and a half kilograms, and it can easily turn into a suitcase and back in just 30 seconds. Plus, it has a pretty good range of 15 kilometers and can go as fast as 24 kilometers per hour, which is quite surprising. Another cool thing is that you can fully charge it using a Type-C cable in just a couple of hours. If you're interested, you can get this cool scooter on Kickstarter for 1069 But keep in mind, you'll need to be patient because it won't be delivered to your doorstep until at least... The Syrisha Thunders. Remember the Solar City car that costs six $800? Well, here's something even more impressive. The Syrisha Thunders surfboard 
which comes with a hefty price tag of $99,000. You might be wondering why it's so expensive. The reason is that this surfboard can ride waves at an incredible speed of 70 kilometers per hour. But wait, there's more. These surfboards are made by a US company called Syrisher, which usually specializes in electric bicycles. Interestingly, the battery of this surfboard weighs 21 kilograms, which is more than the board itself, weighing 18 kilograms. However, Syrisher claims that this is the world's lightest electric surfboard and it can offer an hour of surfing fun. The Pumpacara Lux is a unique American bicycle designed for adults. Unlike traditional bikes that only require leg movements, the pumper car requires movement from both your legs and your arms. Its most advanced version even has a motor that allows speeds of up to 40 km per hour. This adult model can support riders weighing up to 136 kg and is priced at $600. While it might seem a bit expensive, over 33,000 pumper car units have already been sold. Notably, medical professionals have recognized the benefits of this mode of transportation. Now, let's take a look at the Chinese team at Naxion, who are making innovative electric mopeds that bring a new level of excitement to riders. Consider the Naxion IAM, for example. It's perfect for commuting in the city. It can accelerate from 0 to 50 km per hour in just 2.8 seconds, reaching a top speed of 120 km per hour. Plus, it can cover a distance of 180 km on a single charge. According to news reports, the IAM will be available in markets in France, Belgium and Germany this spring, with an estimated cost of around $88,000. It makes us wonder if... In the iconic Back to the Future movie, Marty McFly zooms into the future, landing in 2015, where he encounters the awesome hoverboards. But in real life, we're still waiting for those to become a reality. There have been glimpses of prototypes in the news, but they're not quite like Marty's. However, in South Korea, engineers at DG Eist and Kerry are creating their own version. It's more like a small hovercraft, capable of carrying people and cargo. Imagine the possibilities. These hoverboards could revolutionize short distance deliveries or even warehouse operations. The future looks exciting with these advancements.